So, now that you have a successful concept for your caricature, from your thumbnails to your rough sketch, how do you take it to the next level? How do you go from a rough sketch to a finished rendering? Improving your skill at caricature is more about the art of visual development than it is about any kind of innate creativity. That means that you don't need to have a special gift for exaggeration to draw good caricatures. You just have to work hard. If you ask me, creativity is a natural outcome of being persistent, bold, and disciplined. Persistence in that you need to do lots and lots of bad sketches before getting to the good one. Bold in that you need to take big risks in your drawing and not worry about failing. And having discipline means you constantly work to improve your skills and follow a technical process to refine your rough sketches into a finished piece. Today, we're going to learn a technical process that will take you from a rough, sloppy sketch to a correctly structured linear design. The abstraction. The next step is pretty simple in concept. We're going to do a tracing of the rough sketch. But we're not going to just copy the original drawing. We're going to change and improve it with an abstracted version of the head. So, the rough sketch will only be a very loose guide. We'll take from it what works, and continue to make new decisions about it as we draw. This tracing stage is a great time to push the exaggerations even further. But what is the abstraction? Put simply, it's a linear representation of the head, using flowing rhythmical curves that trace the connections between shapes and features. The rhythmical grid lines are based on the anatomy, but they are not meant to be a simple wireframe of the head. The rhythm lines help you find the placement of the features and how different parts of the head interlock and relate to each other. The abstraction is a tool to help you improve the construction of your drawings, and it's especially helpful in drawing heads at extreme angles. You may feel like we're working backwards here. We already had a realistic sketch, but now we're redrawing it with construction lines and stripping away the details. But this is one of the best ways to refine a sketch. We've already done the creative work of exaggerating and finding a likeness in the thumbnails and the rough sketch. But by tracing over the drawing and stripping away the details, we can better find and fix those hidden errors and unintended distortions. The process. If you're drawing on paper with pencil or charcoal, use tracing paper or a light box for this next step. Or if working on the computer, reduce the opacity of the rough sketch and create a new blank layer above it to draw the abstraction on. And start by redrawing the biggest shapes of the head and neck first. But unlike in the rough sketch, use long, fluid lines, not short, scratchy ones. Simplify the contours so that the head shape is smooth and without defining features. Then trace the main center line of the face and lightly mark the distances of the brow, nose, and mouth, making sure the angle of those marks line up with one another in the correct perspective for the tilt of the head. This center line is really important because you'll be using it to build all of your other anatomical rhythms around. And remember, the key to using the abstraction successfully is drawing the rhythm lines through the forms and across the center line without interruption. What you want to do here is create an abstract version of your sketch where the individual rhythms look correct in perspective. That means that the abstracted features will look symmetrical in relation to the center line. Unless, of course, your intention was to exaggerate something asymmetrically on the face. This step is to make sure you are in complete control over what's asymmetrical and what is not. You don't want sloppiness or lack of control to determine what your finished caricature will look like. The abstraction is a method to help reduce the complex forms of the rough sketch into something more easy to manage and analyze. Since the rhythm lines represent the anatomy and the connections between the features, it ends up being a very effective diagram to show you where you might have made lopsided shapes or unbalanced distribution of the features. Earlier in this video, I showed a diagram of the abstraction overlaid on the average head diagram, which I based mostly off the famous Frank Riley abstraction. If you need guidance in drawing this abstraction in your own exercises, study that portion of the video. Or 
Get more detailed information on how to construct the abstraction in the premium version of this course. As you can see, I'm just about done with my abstraction. I placed most of the rhythm lines directly over the forms of the rough sketch. Although, in some areas, I used the abstraction to make subtle changes to the shapes, like around the jaw and ears. But now, I'm going to turn off the rough sketch layer and flip the abstraction backwards to really give it a more critical examination. Looking at your drawing in reverse is a great way to find structural errors that you may have overlooked before. Here, I felt like there was too much bulk on that side of the head, and I bring it in a little. Then I erase some of the rhythms and redraw them to match up with the rest of the head. This is an example of the abstraction as a flexible tool to help fix structural problems that I didn't notice before. In caricature, there are not necessarily any rules about structure and anatomy that you always need to follow. I'm just going by what feels right when I look at it. As I've said before, my personal style in caricature is to create realistic and solid-looking faces. You may want to draw caricatures that exaggerate way more extremely, or you may want to give your drawings a minimalist or cartoony style. And that's great! Work in whatever style speaks to you. The abstraction can be used to help you construct any style of drawing. I spend the last few moments of this abstraction sketch tweaking some of the smaller details and adding just a couple additional rhythms. I'm really taking my time and being hypercritical of the structure, because once I decide it's finished, I'm going to move on to the next step and trace my final drawing over this. So I need to be absolutely certain that I'm happy with the structure of the sketch. And you need to do the same. Slow down. Be critical. Look at it in reverse and be objective about it. Being objective and disciplined at this stage is how you make the caricature the best it can be. After this, you'll be rendering the final drawing, relying on this abstraction as the roadmap that will guide your pencil. Because it's a simplified linear abstraction, it's missing the personality of the subject that I captured in the rough sketch. Some of you may even think it's lost the likeness. But I don't worry, because I know that the personality and organic forms of the likeness are hidden inside this abstraction. The final drawing will bring all of that warmth and personality back. And when I finish that next step, the caricature will be even better and stronger than it was in the rough sketch. As I said before, learning caricature is more about the process of visual development than it is about hitting a home run on your first pitch. What's next? In our next video, I'll show how I use this abstraction sketch to create my final caricature drawing. Who should I caricature next? Tell us in the comments below and I may draw them in a future video. Premium content. Get the premium caricature course to access lots more videos of me using the abstraction to draw caricatures with more extreme angles and exaggerations. Also, premium students can download a step-by-step -step guide to drawing the abstraction that you can print out and an additional in-depth lesson on the origins, construction, and use of the abstraction and caricature. This is a really cool and useful technique, and we only scratch the surface in this free lesson. To get a true understanding of this drawing tool, get the premium course. If you enjoyed this video, share it and tell your friends. And if you want to get updates on new videos, go to proco.com and subscribe to the newsletter.